let's review how the sagittal bands work within the dorsal apparatus. As we previously discussed in the first course, the extensor digitorum communis moves dorsally across the metacarpal phalangeal joints and is centralized by the sagittal band that is connected to the extensor digitorum communis and it dives down on both sides of the finger going to the volar plate where it tenaciously inserts. These sagittal band fibers encircle the metacarpal phalangeal joint and are a unique way in which a muscle tendon unit inserts in order to provide motion to a joint. They are attached to the volar plate and therefore the sagittal band cannot have free distal and proximal excursion because of this attachment. It's rather like a sling that's placed around the joint and as that sling is pulled proximally it lifts the proximal phalanx into extension. Very different from our typical con concept of a tendon inserting across the joint into the bone and thus creating joint movement. Because the volar plate is stationary, during extension the sagittal band fibers move proximally but they are limited in their proximal direction by their attachment to the volar plate and during metacarpal phalangeal joint flexion they move distally on the dorsal aspect but are maintained again by their attachment to the volar plate. The volar plate attachment thus limits the amount of excursion of the extensor digitorum communis. There is a proximal phalanx insertion which we discussed as being highly variable. This example it's rather significant. It occurs just distal to the metacarpal phalangeal joint and is part of the extensor digitorum communis which has become the central slip inserting into the base of the proximal phalanx. There is tension into this insertion only during active metacarpal phalangeal joint hyperextension. During normal flexion and extension there's no tension in this structure and therefore it is not active. Here we see on your right flexion of the metacarpal phalangeal joint shows that there is no tension but once the metacarpal phalangeal joint has moved beyond a zero degrees of extension force is then carried into this insertion. The ability to hyperextend the MP joint however is prevented the, the excess is prevented by the tethering of the sagittal band fibers. There can only be so much proximal excursion because of this firm connection.